What's up guys, Celestra here again, doing a guide this time for the Copper Mill to get a gold score on it. So this is for the score attack mode on Rise of the Tomb Raider. Some of these levels are difficult, but I will be doing the guides for some of the more difficult levels. There are some that are quite easy, like the optional tombs, they only require maybe about 10,000. But, well, 10,000 to get a gold score. This one requires 700,000. The first time I did it, I managed to get 680,000, so I was just under the gold score. And the second time I did it, I got 780,000, so I was just over. The way that I've found to do this quite easily is to buy some of the card packs. Don't buy them with real money, because I fucking hate microtransactions. Buy them with the credits that you get from playing the game. They cost 5,000 each, and you get 5 random cards. You're more likely to get a 100% card and a 50% card in each pack. The 100% and the 50% cards are the ones that you want, because these boost your multiplier by a lot. So, when I did this level, I had a 295% boost, so the score that you have by the end of the level gets boosted by that much once you finish it. So by the end I had, I don't know, I think it was almost 200,000 and then with the multiplier it put me up to over 780,000. So that's the way to do this. So you want to pick up every item you see, you don't want to loot enemies, you want to make sure you have at least a 300% multiplier and you just want to go through the level making sure you pick up these little wisps and touch any item that you see. Do not look, do not loot people. Pick up ammo, pick up crates, pick up branches, bushes, um, kill animals if you can see them. Basically, anything apart from looting a corpse will give you, um, will give you points. And you want to leave the lanterns on the level until you get to a point where you're sure you need them because you don't want to shoot them right away when you see them because they can be used they're not like the wisps you don't need to go up to them to collect them you shoot them so if you're running out of your multiplier which you see in the corner here i'm at 35 now this keeps going up and if you get hit or you take damage or if it ticks down it'll reset to zero and you have to go through it all again you have to maintain this multiplier throughout this level just keep increasing it if it goes down before you get to the point that you see it go down for me in the video, you probably won't get the score that you need to get the actual gold score. Because it is really, really annoying. If an enemy shoots you with one stray bullet, puts it down to zero, and you need to start all over again. I reset this level a couple times to do this. If you fail, or you know you're going to fail, just restart the level. Do not quit the game, because if you quit the game, you'll lose the cards that you, you used. Because the cards are only a one-time use. And then you'll have to buy more cards, and you don't want to do that because you'll probably run out of credits, and then you'll think, "Oh, why don't I just buy this with real money?" No, you don't buy things. F you don't buy microtransactions. Don't do it because microtransactions are a stupid practice that are in fucking AAA games these days. So just follow this guide. Just watch what I do throughout the level. Also, when you do things like this, where you have to grab a ledge, that gives you points and it resets your multiplier. So instead of going down, it'll go up one. So if you're really struggling for time and you know you can make a jump and also grab it then do it because it will help you boost your multiplier back up and as you can see I'm leaving the lanterns here because in case my multiplier starts running down I can use it later so hopefully this guide has helped guys just keep watching it watch what I do and watch where my multiplier goes down and try and make sure that you can get to that point without it going down or even get further that's better because once it gets to 99 you get the most you can get 99 is the highest you can get for the multiplier and when you do that, it boosts your score by a hell of a lot. So if you're at maybe 150, 170,000 with the 300% multiplier, you by the end of the level, you should get 780,000. But if you don't reset, do not quit the level, just restart the level because you'll lose your cards. Hopefully this has helped, guys. I've rambled on for a little bit, but just watch the video and hopefully it helps. I think it's about 15 minutes long, so just stick with it. I won't cut it because I want you to see how I actually do this without letting my multiplier go down. So hopefully it's helped, guys. Stay tuned for some more of these and more of my achievement videos in the future. As always, stay awesome, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.
another Soviet plaque. Sorry. 
made it. God willing, that'd be too easy. Visual confirmation. Kill her. Now. Yes, sir. Fan out. We have her surrounded. <laughs> 